Jesus Freak here. And I know I've had some strong differences of opinions with some people on some topics. Now, the usual way you see among, like, Reformed Baptists and such is, you know, they don't really care what tradition says. The only thing that matters is what's in here. And my stance is usually, you know, tradition's good until it conflicts with this. That's the difference between sola scriptura and prima scriptura, and I admit I'm more on the prima scriptura side. But that's me being a Methodist. And I'll admit, you know, even, even sometimes I disagree with my own church. My church does baby sprinkling. I don't believe in that. My church has fully open communion. I don't believe in that. My church talks about the so-called Wesleyan quadrilateral. Personally, I think that would horrify John Wesley. <laughs> and the answer in any given case is going to be the same. Be a Berean. It doesn't really matter what I think or what someone else thinks. I mean, if you can square it with the Bible, that's fine. It's only a problem when you can't. But what it what what it's all gonna come down to is they're gonna make their claim. You know, everyone's going to say, hey, the Bible says this, the Bible says that. Don't take their word for it. D determine it for yourself. See if I'm right. See if whoever else is right. That's the only way to know for sure. I only speak of my own opinions and my own understandings. And that's all anyone's going to do. Because the only thing that's objective is what I'm holding right here in my hand. So the answer is, sure, you can take someone at their word, but you should really size it up first. Because There's as many interpretations of the Bible as people reading. Now, I have one perspective. You might have another. Some other YouTuber out there or someone else on Facebook is probably going to have a third. At least you can rest assured if you've made an honest attempt at understanding what's written here, that 
then you've done the right thing. Even if I haven't. So be a Berean. Don't don't just be a Thessalonian take take our word for it. Read for yourself. Jesus freak out.